Hello friends, welcome to my channel Rex Rahul. Today I will show you how to create a fat or over executable jar in Maven. So for this, I have created an application fat jar demo here to save time. And here you can see I have a main class fat jar application and I have created a user model here. It is just a pojo. What we are doing in this application, uh, we are uh, we are using G JSON, JSON dependency. Let me show you in pom.xml. It is just a single simple application with only a dependency. Here you can see I have included the JSON dependency. So what we are doing in this application? We are creating a user and we are converting this user to a JSON and printing this JSON to the console output. So what we have to do now, we have to create an executable jar with all the dependencies used in this project. Okay, so let's see what happened when we start from here if we use maven clean install if we build the project using maven and check the target folder of the project you can see the jar here let's check the content of the jar so here project classes only and here is a folder meta inf in which manifest.mf you can see some entries here some versions some metadata here of the project okay so can we ex execute this jar Let's try to execute this jar from the console. Change to the directory. So Java hyphen jar fat jar. So you can see the message is no main manifest attribute in fat jar demo snapshot so in this jar uh, you saw that uh, no dependencies of JSON and no de uh, no manifest entry in the manifest.mf file so how we can add the dependency in the jar that we can use one maven plugin named maven assembly plugin so We will use that plugin here. So, what we have included here, we have defined a plugin here and uh, uh, use the descriptor. Of the assembly plugin as jar with dependencies and uh, uh, we need to decide the execution of this plugin when we want to execute this plugin so this plugin we need to define the id of this assembly maven assembly let's say and now phase the phase is package for maven assembly plugin and the goals in the phase we will be using single so let's check this out oops 
yes so let's hit the command maven clean install so we will check the contents of the jar build is successful you can see. so uh, you can see here one is the jar of 3.3 kb you can see here and one jar is jar with dependencies 242 kb so obviously this jar will contain the dependencies so you can see the content in contents com.google is also included here the jar of json and uh, in meta inf you can see some entries okay so now we have included our jar our dependency in our jar okay so let's check if this jar is executable or not so java hyphen jar so the same so what it uh, it is saying that we don't have an entry for the main class to call when we are calling our jar so which class we need to call so we will add this information in the maven assembly plugin configuration section so in configuration there is a archive descriptor in archive descriptor you can set the entries of the manifest main class here you will define the main class of the application so main class of our, our application is fat jar application so you have to give the complete path of the class okay let's see what happens now so we will have to go back to the root okay so Maven clean install so let's check it out now what happens now okay yes the build is success and let's check the target folder so currently there are two jars okay so in jar with dependencies same as previous in meta inf you can see the entry of main class here so uh, it is the indication maybe now the that error no manifest that we were facing we will not face now so let's run this jar go to the target so this is the jar we want to run java hyphen jar yes so you can see the output of the program the main uh, class is executed executed from the jar itself so now what we observed here there are two jars created but we only want one jar to be created okay that uh, should be the project name and version of the project only this name jar should be there and that should be a fat jar only so what would we, what will we do here so to make archive in this configuration we will set the append assembly id to false so let's check the effect of this you can also do package here you can give the package face only so you can see the build is success and now if we go to the target yes only the fat jar is created of 242 kb let's check the contents contents are same as previous meta inf is okay 
okay so let's execute this jar so go to the target java iphone jar again so you can see we are able to we are able to create a jar which is executable and which contains the all the dependencies if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel rex rahul